And our first topic, our first main topic, not as controversial, not as messy as last week. So hopefully this week can be a little more chill, a little more fun. Not as much tension. <laughs> so with Wonder Woman 3 being canceled. Sadness. <laughs> Why are you doing start. this to me? <laughs> and Man of Steel 2, of course, not happening. DCU, the DCU, is surrounded by controversy already. Oh, yeah. To say the least. The internet's a nightmare right now. To say the least. And with everything in doubt, all reports are indicating that Gal Gadot will no longer be our Wonder Woman. What will... And and a question that brought it to my mind is that what will be the legacy years to come when we're thinking back at Gal Gadot's run as Wonder Woman? You know, she was introduced in Batman v Superman kind of as like a... You know, she wasn't a standout role in that uh, movie for me. She was a standout character, I should say, excuse me. Even though the movie was super convoluted, it had too much in it. I do like the movie, but, you know, she was introduced to that, got an amazing first solo outing, first big live action outing for Wonder Woman as a character, and was long overdue. And it did not disappoint, in my opinion. And then we got her in two versions of Justice League, and I liked her in both versions. A lot more in Zack Snyder's. Right. And, of course, then we got Wonder Woman 84, which was very controversial, very, very divisive, and most critics and fans kind of bash the movie and think it's hot garbage. You find some fans here and there, and I myself, I liked it when I saw it. I didn't understand why people were comparing it to, like, the worst movies of all time. But that being said, I haven't watched it since. It was kind of forgettable, and it was a little messy. It was a little disappointing. And that's going to be, unfortunately, probably, the final note that we have with Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. And that brings the question, what is going to be kind of how people look back at Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman? Obviously, she's probably going to go off to have a successful career, she's a beautiful actress, she's talented, yada yada. But what are they going to think about her run as Wonder Woman specifically? Because this has been a role that not only is extremely influential and iconic, but also has been extremely important for her career and her personally. So I myself am a big fan of her. I was a little skeptical when she was cast, not going to lie, just because I had only seen her in Fast and the Furious film. But I think she's really grown as an actress. I think she's really developed not only her acting skills, but also grown physically in the role. And to to know that we're going to have a new actress in the role does excite me. You know, Gal Gadot is not the best actress in the world. We could find a better actress, sure. But in a lot of ways, she was a perfect Wonder Woman for the Wonder Woman that she was given. And the Wonder Woman that she served. At least in my opinion. Looking back, I will regret that we don't get a Wonder Woman 3. Just to see if it lived up to the the uh, hype and the quality of the first film. And just having a complete trilogy. But who knows? Maybe it would have been even worse than Wonder Woman 84. And it, her legacy would have been even more tarnished. At the end of the day, maybe a lot of people don't really care. But these are just my thoughts. I'm going to turn it over to Eleanor. Well, I personally think that um, people go a little too hard on Wonder Woman 84 because I remember really enjoying that film. It was really fun to me. It wasn't as serious as the rest of the DCEU. Yeah, it had its serious moments, but it was a little more messy. I'm sure there was maybe some plot devices that didn't exactly work or seemed like they were kind of plot holes. But overall, I really enjoyed that movie. And maybe it's just because I really like Wonder Woman as a character, but I really enjoyed it. And I also really liked Pedro Pascal in it, so I thought it was a good movie. But I personally think that her legacy, like a lot of DCEU legacies, are going to go down as tarnished, incomplete, or just, like, I wouldn't say shameful, but, like, shameful is not the right word, but maybe they will feel ashamed of it, you know, or embarrassed of it because they didn't get their full trilogy. Or it got canceled right in the middle of the storyline. 
or it took 10 years between first movie to get second movie. You know, there was a lot of that happening in the DCEU. And so I think all of that mixed together is just going to get associated not only with Wonder Woman, but with all of the characters in the DCEU. And unfortunately, I think that's why they are going to scrap everything and start over. And it's just hard because I really did like Gal Gadot as... Wonder Woman. She really did play a great Wonder Woman. She embodied the spirit of Wonder Woman perfectly, I would say. So, for me, it's really hard and really sad. But, you know, moving forward, even if you're feeling really negative and upset like I am, like, this is just my message to everyone else, is just try to stay positive. Because, I mean, we don't know what the future will hold. And if we all are really negative about it, it's not going to make it any better. Maybe failed potential, missed opportunity. That's kind of the feeling, yeah. It's like, it could have been so much more, and it's just not, we're not going to get it. In a lot of ways, a lot of people are always going to remember Gal Gadot as their Wonder Woman, and Henry Cavill as their Superman. I mean, the amount of support for this guy, and all of these people, all all of them, has just been amazing. And... It's really sad that they couldn't have gotten that support when Man of Steel came right, out. Right, like, why did it and, take 10 years you know, for us to get this? Same thing with, like, Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. It's like everybody wants Amazing Spider-Man 3 now, but when Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out, it wasn't the case. It was 50-50 at best. And unfortunately, yeah, I think missed opportunity, failed potential is going to be kind of the overall legacy is when a lot of the average movie-going audience looks back at the DCEU, and maybe some of them don't even remember it. I don't know. But I think there's a lot of wins and a lot of great movies, and a lot of some of the best comic book movies I've ever seen, some of my favorites, and Wonder Woman's one of them. And Gal Gadot is a big part of that. So she will be missed. She will be missed if she's being recast. I mean, Gal, uh, James Gunn did say on Twitter that, he did reply to a a report that she had gotten the boot, and he said, "Not sure where you got this report where Gal Gadot got the boot." Um, so that kind of adds some to confusion. So maybe there's some potential that she's it's still on board. Opinion. But honestly, all all signs are pointing to reboot. To me, it's just my opinion that James Gunn needs to get the hell off Twitter because I understand he's trying to clarify things, but now you're just adding fuel to the fire. Just get off Twitter. It is <laughs> a cesspool it anyway. Is adding to the confusion, yeah. It is a dumpster fire anyway. Just get out of it. Like, just leave it alone. <laughs> like, Twitter can be a madhouse sometimes, and right now it is absolutely crazy. <laughs> but what do you guys think of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman? What did you think of her two films, her outings in Justice League, and what do you think of her overall legacy is going to be as Wonder Woman when fans of the average movie-going audience, as well as DC fans, look back at Wonder Woman in 10 years when we have a new Wonder Woman in the DCU? How do you think she'll live up? Whatever you think, we'd love to hear it. Just keep friendly with each other in the comments as we're all Wonder Woman fans, we're all DC fans, and we're all got our fingers crossed hoping for the best. Some of us have given up hope, but hey, to each their 